Previously on Republic of Doyle. What about later? We hook up after work and have a little uh, whiskey tasting. Get it through your skull. I don't like him. Fire. Thoughts, questions, concerns? Des, I'm just super busy. It's okay, Desi. She likes you. Yeah, no, yeah, she's crazy about me. I'm screwed. Chandra's totally over me. With Jake, she's like laughing and she's paying attention to his alpha pheromones. I've seen his type before. We were dating. I found out he was married. Tell me what you want to do. You stay away from Will! Can you clean up your mess, please? We both know what's best here. And it doesn't involve you and me walking off into the sunset together. We need to back off. You sure about that? I got Dez to do this. I don't see you over here. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually pretty clear. Take it back. Nice work. Why are we doing this? Stupid workers' comp case, anyway. Money to make a living, to pay the bills. Moron. Clyde Cowley. Dime bag Clyde. I knew this guy in high school. This is our workers' comp case. Oh, I remember. You were almost jealous of him. It was embarrassing. I wasn't jealous of him. Clyde was a, a total jerk, especially to Walter. You were in love with his girlfriend. Well, I wasn't in love with her. She was just very, very attractive. Clyde and I, we had this kind of fight on sight clause. Whiplash. Number one fraud claim. Talk about a fall from grace. This guy, he had everything. You know, a baseball scholarship. He was Mr. Athlete. He got all the girls. Yeah, well, that was then. Now, his finances are in the toilet. Injuries. He's going through a rough time. Is he still with Jessica? Or as I know, a vulture. I'm not a vulture, Dad. She's just super hot. There he goes. Man, he looks like crap. Whatever he's at. The whiplash isn't hindering it. Are you seeing this? Uh, Dad? Hi! I'll cut him down, Dad! We have an emergency. Just take it easy. You had an accident, Clyde. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, didn't I go to high school with you? Yeah, you hung out with that loser fat kid. <laughs> His name is Walter, and he was big boned. I'm Jake, and this is my father, Malachi. Clyde, were you trying to kill yourself? What? <laughs> no. No, no, kill myself. No. Suicide. Oh, suicide. That's just, that's not me, so... Easy there. The doctor tells us you're fine, but you need to rest. <clears throat> Who asked you anyways? I'm fine, so... You guys can just... go away now. Hey, son. Hold up. If you were trying to kill yourself, we could have you taken into custody, so, uh... Why don't you just tell us what's going on? Oh... Okay, look, Jake, since high school, I haven't exactly been carrying on as the guy I was. Really? I, I hadn't noticed. I am a winner. I had a good job, a house, a marriage, and then a few months ago, I, everything went a little snaky. What? Oh, yeah? I lost my job. I couldn't find work. It was like after spending my whole life on top, suddenly I was cursed. Well, you know, you still have... You still have Jessica, right? That's true. <laughs> she was like the hottest thing in high school. Why am I still listed as your next of kin? We're divorced, remember? Do you understand that? Divorced? My idiot, we're not. Well, we will be soon. Trust me. Hi, Jessica. How you doing? Remember me? Jake Doyle, from high school? 
Jess, I told you not to talk to him until after the settlement. Yeah, I know, Wally. Just, just give us a second. Wally, I'm repping her in the divorce. She's an old friend. I'm doing her a favor. F in favor, yeah, I bet. Hey, boys, uh, boys. Jake has issues with seeing other people happy. Yeah, okay, so I know there's a little bit of a history there between me and Jess, that's true. A history, yeah, yeah, in your fantasy lab. Uh, hey, we had chemistry, okay? Wally, let's go. Nice seeing you again, Jessica. Just playing hard to get. Just. <laughs> Look, uh, fellas, I lied. We're a little divorced. A little? I need to get my wife back. I need your help. I need... I need to save my life. So you two are getting along really well, hey? Well, it's easy, because uh, Chandra has some seriously superhuman qualities. Des, stop it. But no, no, it's true. She's a brilliant swimmer, and uh, she has to eat all of her food proportionately, like, like, in proportion. <laughs> And ladies, that's why I garden, uh, to keep the stress levels in check. Right arm. Uh, how, how are you, Tinny? How's, um, high school? Just fine. Thank you for asking. It's great. You know, I remember when I was in high school. God, it feels like so long ago. What grade are you in again? 10? 12, actually. Oh, good, good. Special year. I hope you enjoy it. My grade 12 year, I just had to cram and cram to get into pre-med, you know? <laughs> Well, isn't she all that in a bag of chips? Well, Tinny is an awesome student. I mean, she gets wicked marks without even studying. Oh, good for her. She's the extreme sport enthusiast. Oh, ours, Des and I. Just a little fun with the old shuttlecock. So okay, yeah. I'm gonna go to work now and go to the office. Why don't you come help me, Tinny? No, I'm good, actually. But why don't we have a three-way? <laughs> What? I, I mean, uh, with badminton, badminton. Uh, Des? No. No, okay, okay, I meant with badminton. I, I'm, anyway, I'm sorry. No? Okay, I'm good, okay. Bye, for now. Bye, do you want to tell us what the hell we're doing here? Hey, I just need to see the bank guys. Well, you two are PIs, right? So, I'm hiring you. <laughs> you ever uh, hear of a check? Look, Clyde, we can talk about payment later. We just need a little info from you about what it is you think we can do to help. And, you know, why maybe you tried to hang well, yourself. I told you that was an accident. I just... I need to talk to this guy. He sort of, he sort of foreclosed on my house earlier than he should have. No, I, I... Oh, no, there he is. Hey, <laughs> Alex. Yeah. Oh, great to see you again. Clyde. Clyde Cowley. Hmm. You ripped off my house, remember? <laughs> you, you. Sorry, piece of proof! Clyde, just stay. Just stay. Hey, stay away from me. And this bank, you'll end up in jail, you hear me? What the? Uh. Clyde! I think he's snoring. Clyde. You fell asleep standing up. Oh, I'm just exhausted. That's a bad sign. Let me get my equipment. Just... I think Jeff Vallis, the banker, foreclosed on my house because he's sleeping with Jessica. Do you have any proof? No, but he's trying to make me look like a loser to get her away from me. That's why I, 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 I need to get the house back for Jessica to to show her that I can. What would make you think that Jessica is fooling around on you with Valis? Yeah. I don't know. It's like the minute we started dealing with that guy from the bank, she changed, you know? Valis shows up, and Jess wants me spending more and more. Nothing's good enough for her. I kept remortgaging the house just to keep up. And then Valis forecloses. I couldn't make the payments. But Valis, he told me he would hold off, but he lied to me. I feel like they were both playing me, you know, because first I lose the house, and then Jessica, she wants a divorce. Dad and I, or I will, we'll just go talk to Jessica. No, 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 don't do that. She'll know something's up. I'm sure she will. Trust us. This is our job. <clears throat> okay, so, 
drowsiness in stressful situations, uh, overexertion, bedwetting. Fear, fight or flight instincts, fear of thumbtacks, flying, driving, walking, or water. Those are all serious, serious symptoms. I, I have to catch up with Matt. Uh, it is in my humble opinion that you have a medical condition that you need to see a physician about or a med student, and that can be arranged. What are you talking about? You, sir, are a textbook narcoleptic. Don't be ridiculous. Hey, no. Hey, no. You're in no condition to drive. Get a cab. You're in no condition. Ow. I know you're your arch enemy in high school, but you really have to stop enjoying Clyde suffering so much. Look, okay, he was a terror to everyone, Dad, okay? He picked on Walter every chance that he got. I can't help but think that this whole thing, you know, it might be karma. Yeah, well, watch yourself. There's plenty of karma to go around. Clyde's luxury apartment. <laughs> he ended up living in his car, I gotta say. That's perfect. That's what you call karma. Starting to see your future? <laughs> Very funny. Someone leaving newspapers around. See? Karma. Very funny. What is this? Jake and Malachi Doyle. Who are you? Ah. Man who doesn't waste any time. I respect that. You're, uh... Client is in debt to me. What are you talking about? What debt? It's a considerable amount. Even in this province's robust economy. So, do I now look to you for compensation? Us? Uh, no way. How much? You ask Clyde how much. Who was Ponytail, buddy? No idea. But I think we better find out. So put it on Jake Doyle's tab. Hey, deadbeat. I want to talk to you. Look, I, I'll get it back to you, I promise. I bet you will. So as you don't forget. Hey, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing here? Don't worry. Message to end. Clyde, you want to tell us what you got on the go with this guy? Thinks I robbed him or something. I don't know. Yeah, right. Of course. What is going on? Are you stalking me? Hi, Jessica. Jess, honey. Don't be like that now. Don't call me honey. The boys are just helping me to finish renting the house. You see, we're going to keep it pretty for you. Clyde, we don't own the house anymore, remember? The bank foreclosed when you stopped paying the mortgage. I'm lucky they're letting me stay till the end of the month. Uh, far be it for me to interject, but don't you think maybe that you might be just slightly being a, li a, a little bit hard on him? Look, Creep, I don't remember you, okay? So drop it. And you, do I need a restraining order? Clyde, our past is just that, the past. Best you left it behind you and moved on. I have. Oh, uh, name's Chili Power. Chili Powder? Power. His Christian name's Liam. Liam Power. How do I know that name? I think Clyde's a narcoleptic. Guys? So Chili's from around the Bay originally, and uh, he made some major money out on the Four Mac, and now he's home, and he's lending it out on the street. So, guess who's there? Clyde owes him money. Man, uh, how did I get us roped into helping the sad sack of a fella? He needs our help, and you have a natural inclination to help people. I don't get it. Where's the joke? There isn't one. You're a good boy, Jake. No. Go help your high school enemy. Well, I guess it all just comes down to bad luck, you know? Or it could be the fact that you've never had to work for anything and you've been a dick to everyone for your entire life. All right. I was a jerk at times, but I was just better than everyone else. Everything I touched turned to gold. You try living with that. Yeah, it must be tough living in your own shadow. Do you remember how good I was at baseball? I was the only player in this province to get a baseball scholarship. Why didn't you go? Just wanted me to stay. Couldn't live without me. Now she doesn't even love me anymore. How much do you owe Chili? 100 grand, plus the juice. Oh, great. I just, I needed a little bit just to get by, and <laughs> I lost it all. 
Poker? No, I literally lost it. It was stolen or, or, or lost or whatever. How did you misplace $100,000? I... I got home and I saw Jessica with another man. Vallis. I'm sure it was him. I got nervous and you had an episode. I get sleepy whenever I'm nervous or excited or angry or upset. Des was right. You're a narcoleptic. Whatever. I... I fell asleep, passed out on the lawn, woke up and the money was gone. I think that Jessica has my money and she's hiding it in the house. All right, let's go to your house and we'll get it back, okay? Really? You do that for me? I'm actually doing it for myself because I, I just really... I, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Valus ruined my life. Oh, yeah, Valus is the problem here, sure. But from the minute we met him... Valus! Fancy suits and words. Valus. He's the one who told me to remortgage the house. He forecloses on me. Are you even looking for the money here, or...? Just gotta make sure there's no new man stuff here. Clyde, focus, okay? Where would your wife hide $100,000? Safe. Damn it. It's empty. Nice. You know, I'm starting to think that there was no $100,000 in the first place. So Make yourself at home. I'll just be a sec. Don't you look at her. Are we having a drink or what? Wally, you almost caught me naked. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to re-enter and try that again? You devil. <laughs> you son. She is married, Walter. Well, married? Are you spying on me or something? Have you no respect for the sanctity of marriage? This would kill Clyde. Oh. Is, is that Clyde? Is he dead? Yes and and no. Wally, is White okay? The rest down in the basement. Uh, no, uh, no, no. Red is best. Uh, White, I get all. It, it makes me all uh, vomity. Okay, I'll get the red then. You're just jealous because I got her and you didn't. Whatever. Okay, just help me get him out of here. He's asleep. It's a long story. What are you helping him for anyway? He was such a dick smacked us in high school. No, no. <laughs> you remember that time that he beat me up and he stole my pants and my underwear? Shh. You weren't wearing any underwear. Look, that's not the point, okay? Hey, is that mine? Uh, yeah, yeah. A little help here, please, could you? It's a text from Vallis. She's meeting him tomorrow. So? Who? Help! Wally? Quite <laughs> Get out. This isn't over. You got a text? Thanks. I, uh, hope it doesn't make you vomity. <laughs> she was Vallis. Was it him? I bet it was him. I know it was him. It wasn't him. It was... It was her lawyer, too, by the way. You tortured every day in high school. Walter? Walter the Falter? No worries if her stepping out with him. The fatty. You just watch yourself, Clyde. Why? 
We gonna fight again? Like in high school? Whoa, settle down, boys. I wouldn't worry about it, Dad. For Clyde's sake, I don't think that's a good idea. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When I passed out, she was undressing. Did you see her naked? Did you see her naked? No, but she um, <clears throat> went to the bathroom. We gotta figure out this situation with Chili. He's a dangerous one. Ah, uh, don't worry about him. I'll deal with him. We need to deal with Fallis. What's his uh, connection to Jessica? He wants into her awesome pants. He works as a loan officer at the bank, and Jessica has a meeting with him at 10 o'clock this morning. Maybe she wants to renegotiate, get the house back. Be good to have ears on the inside. Yeah. We should send someone in undercover, you know, to plant a bug. Maybe uh, two kids posing as a young couple looking to buy a new home. Okay, that's the lapel camera, all right? Put it somewhere where we can't see it, Des. That's the idea. And this is a bug, all right? You need to plant it, because I need to hear whatever's going on in Vallis's office after you leave. Put it on his desk, his briefcase, whatever. Okay, okay, but, but I mean, me and Tinny, I mean, really, don't you think that's kind of dangerous? I mean, we're not really in a good place right now to be looking for a house together. Tinny's in the bank waiting for you right now. Just wait. Don't get mad at me. I've been waiting to talk to you about this. I think Tinny hates me. Of course she hates you. She don't? Did she say anything? Did she say anything? So, I fixed Des with a lapel camera, and it should be coming through right now. Bang up job again. <clears throat> we find out if Jess and Dallas are having an affair now or not. They're not, okay? But we think that Jess, your wife, is stealing your money. But if your wife went on a spending spree just before you lost the house... Maybe she owes Dallas money. Or well, maybe Dallas made her steal my hundred Gs. Hello? We need to talk right now. Yeah, now's not a very good time. <clears throat> oh, Jake, look. One, two, We've got one, sound. Two, Jake, check. Wow, you look amazing. I mean, you you look great. You, you, you look nice. Just dress in the park. Don't freak out. OK, um, all right, so, so do we have a plan? I mean, what's the plan? We should have a plan. Was I supposed to have a plan? Yes. Oh, hold on a second. Mr. Vallis, I'm sorry, we don't have an appointment, but can we just have a minute of your time? Call you back. I think it's the right thing for us to buy a house, don't you, honey? So, uh, what can I do for your kids? Well, we're not exactly kids. I'm in med school, which makes me a bit of a dick, but we're in love, so we just want to start looking at houses. That's what you specialize in, right? Houses, mortgages? Well, uh, first things first, are you here for pre-approval, or do you have property in mind? Oh, I've got a property in mind. <laughs> Des, are you sure you want to get all settled in with a med student? Buy a house, have little med student babies? Oh, my God, oh, my God. Is he, uh, is he okay? Or... Yeah, doesn't look okay. Oh. Oh, my God, you know what? He's, he's allergic to paper. I think he's going into anaphylactic shock. Oh, dear. In God's name is she doing? Oh my God, you better go get one of those allergy needle pens or he will die right here. I'm freaking out. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. Why are you freaking me out? Just, just relax. Okay. Whoa, oh my God, oh my God. What do you want from me? The bug. You know the bug we're here to plant? Right, 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 the bug. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Oh. Uh. All right. Ah! Don't move. Okay. No! Ah! Are you sure? Yeah, I'm a med student, trust me. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna be just fine, but we better go to the hospital. Thank you. Uncle oh, Jake, we got something. What is all this? Looks like Jessica's bank records. How's that gonna help me get Jessica back? All right, Clyde, my son. Now we do this my way. Don't make me use it. Don't even think of it. <laughs> Should we go after him? Or?
I mean, I feel fine. I mean, I feel fine. Like, not like a wicked way, but I, feel, I just got, I, I just really got some, like, energy. I mean, should I be at the hospital? We should call Chandra. I'll get right on that. Anyways, we got to track down Clyde. And I think we should take on Chili. I mean, you can't be that bad, right? Tell that to your back. <clears throat> what was all that back there? I mean, are you jealous of something with me and Chandra? I mean, I'm really confused. Why'd you make him stab me three times? I was playing the part, Des. Get over it yourself. Right. Okay, so, <clears throat> according to the file that you snagged for us, Jessica had a deposit of 10 Gs to her bank account the same day that Clyde's 100 went missing. Is that so? Okay, Malky, me and you, we're gonna go find Chili Powder. Chili, Powder, Chili, Chili, chili. Rogue, you search the neighborhood, you see what you can find. What, what's with him? Fine. You all have jobs to do. I should go talk to Jessica. Alone. Can I help you? Oh, see so you sold your house. Yeah. Oh, the bank. They made us an amazing offer. Is that right? Mm. A lot of your neighbors have sold, too. Hey, you know that bank guy? Oh, uh, Jeff. Alice something. He made us all huge offers. Hard to say no. Apparently. Uh... Chili? <laughs> Greet all your customers like this? Only the ones I like. I don't suppose you got my money. Nope. You used to be a cop, huh? Recall being busted by you a few years back. Good for you. Where's Clyde? Dead. If you don't get my money. Well, I'll tell you what. I think I have a way to find his money. You don't hurt him? We'll have it in 24 hours. 24 hours, or the Clyde ends up in St. John's Harbor. Show me he's still alive first. Did you do this? Huh? I only half hit you, so consider yourself lucky. Fight! Uh, Jess, Jessica. Jessica, sorry to trouble you. You again. Hi, listen. Uh, I'm just curious. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Clyde's missing $100,000, would you? Clyde's? <laughs> Give me a break. So you didn't find it on the lawn? Look, I... I know that you had a crush on me your whole life. I, I get that. But honestly, don't you think it's time you just got over it? I thought you didn't remember me. I didn't, but... Than I did. Same loser, same car. Well, it's a different car, actually. Maybe you can explain to me if you don't know anything about Clyde's hundred thousand bucks. Where did you get the ten grand that you deposited into your bank account the day that Clyde's money went missing? Excuse me. Where did you get the ten thousand dollars? How and where I get my money from anyone is none of your business. Creep. Yeah. I'm gonna kill Dallas. I'm gonna kill him, Jake. He's banging Jessica, and he has my hundred Gs. Clyde, where are you? I'm at the bank. I'm gonna kill him if it kills me, Jake. Yeah. J Hold on. Jeff Ellis! What the hell? Clyde, what the hell are you Jake! doing? Oh Jake, this has got to be done. I'm gonna win this. I am a winner, and I'm gonna win this! Oh Jeff! Oh I'm calling you out! Oh hold on, hold on! Okay, I don't want some trigger-hacky mall cop to kill the guy. Clyde? My wife! Clyde. You were... Clyde. Oh, my God. Clyde. Clyde, wake up, Clyde! What? What are you all doing?
I'll do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, yes, bye. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone just stay calm. No, 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 I don't want your wallets. I don't want, stop it. Stop giving me your wallets. This is not a robbery, everyone. This is not a robbery. You're a terrorist. Oh my God, he's a terrorist. No, 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 I'm not a terrorist. I am not a terrorist. Thank you, job. Hey, sweetheart, are you okay? No, I was asleep. Where am I? I'm in a different room. Am I becoming like him, like Claude? Am I a narcoleptic? No, 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 sweetheart. It's just the adrenaline from the allergy pen wearing off. If he didn't bite me, did he? You can't catch narcolepsy if you get bit by one. No. No. Oh, just that. Hey, Mal. What? What? Jake, what? I gotta go, hon. Take care. Bye. Okay. What's with you, Spaz? Get up. You're acting super weird. I can tell. And I know you hate Chandra. OK, I hate Chandra because she's a snobby little jerk. It has nothing to do with you. Well, I don't know what you want from me here. It's like the minute I, I don't show any interest, you're all over me. And then the next minute, when I actually show you some attention, you treat me like. Des. What? It's true. Shut up. Is Jake robbing a bank? Hi. Hi. Des, are you OK? Yes, I'm fine. Yes. Yes. Put your hands down. Put your hands down now. OK? Everyone just relax and breathe. Oh, what are you doing? Put the money back out of your purse, OK? Nobody steal anything. We're not robbing anything, OK? Put it away. This is all a horrible Misunderstanding. All right, now we're just going to relax here. All right. Um, what we're going to do is, in, in a few minutes, we'll all just go home, pretend this never happened, and uh, no harm and, uh, and no foul. Make sure we have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Oh, crap. How'd this happen? I have no clue. Hey, Leslie, any idea what he's doing in there? He's robbing a bank. Oh, dear Lord. I gotta think here, I gotta think. So, uh, uh, everyone get up and uh, go over there to where the guard is to, right there. You said you weren't robbing the place, right? So, so. I'm not robbing the place, but I still want you to do what I say. So go, 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 everyone. Keep going, keep going straight, straight, straight. There you go, get over there, everyone. Jake, are you robbing the place? Are you out of your mind? Oh, welcome back, dipshit. Dallas? Yeah, yeah. You son of a bitch! You stay. Stay. OK, Ballas, sit. Although Clyde here is the sole reason I am in this predicament, I'm still going to blame you, and I'm going to shoot you if you don't answer my questions directly. Do you understand? Yes. OK, Clyde thinks that you're screwing him over, and there are currently three charges against you. Number one, he thinks that you're sleeping with his wife, Jessica. Why is that? Not, that's, that's insane. I know. I totally agree with you, because personally, I, I really don't think that you're her type. I mean, the hair color, the way you dress, it's all wrong. Anyway, charge number two. He thinks that you stole $100,000 from him. Looking at you, I really don't think you're that stupid. I didn't rob any hundred grand, no. That brings us to charge number three. That you foreclosed on his house early and without just cause. Right. Now, the question I have for you, Mr. Vallis, is why? <laughs> Relax, everyone. It's a phone, OK? Just stay awake. Hello? Have you lost your mind? Why are you robbing a bank? I'm not robbing a bank. Sure looks that way to me. Yeah, I know it looks that way, Dad. Thanks, Thanks for the. Brilliant insight, okay? You just keep everyone out there calm and don't leave until you hear from me. Any luck? Yeah, we're gonna He hung up. He what? Yeah? This is Malachi. Tell your bank robbing son to get me my money or Clyde's wife and her winning attitude are toast. 
Yeah, whoever this is, tell Clyde to give this guy his money. You have one hour. All right, Clyde, let's just get this all over with, okay? We know that you foreclosed on Clyde too early and you bought every house on the street for over market value. What are you cooking up and how is Jessica involved? Okay, look, 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 I, I, I did not sleep with her. No, no, I just, uh, I, I uh, paid her a, a few bucks to help me. Help you do what? I was using my position here at the bank. I was buying up all the land. I had a deal with his, uh, his wife. If, if she was able to get him, all right, to miss the payments, I... I'd foreclose, and, uh, I'd, I'd give her a percentage. <laughs> percentage of what? Percentage of what? It's, it's an oil discovery. Apparently it was huge. I caught her in. We were, we were gonna get rich. That's it. She sold me out. Jessica. Yeah, uh, Dad, I am, uh, what you call kind of busy, so what is it? The loan shark's got Jessica. All right. You wait for my signal. Answer the phone. I'll get the sniper shooting. Crying. Okay, okay, hold on. Hi, there. Jake. Look, I just want you to know that the way this is all playing out is not at all how it's actually playing out. Get the hell out here now. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll release all of the... Hostages? They're not hostages. They're people. Bank people. People in a bank. And I'm, I'm just going to get all... I'm going to release them. And then uh, you wait a couple of minutes, and then you you come in and you get me. And Leslie, feel free to be rough with me, because I tell you, I deserve it. Trust you got me my money? Um, sort of. Sort of? This man just robbed the bank. Okay, look, I didn't... Listen, uh, no, just, just give me a second, please. Just, Jessica, I'm led to believe that you... Jessica? This has screwed me over. Did you take my hundred grand? Yes, I screwed you over, but I never took your money. You and Valis, you sold me out. Why? My future? You could never give me one, so I... I had to make my own. I am so sick of this crap. Yeah, I know. A, a lot of people are, okay? Just wait. I saw I... you on the TV. You were robbing a bank. Now give me my money. Oh, uh, I'm st starting to feel sleep. Here we oh, go. Oh. Fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, I didn't rob a bank. Uh, uh, it's complicated. You know what? I'm just gonna kill you guys. Get it over with. And when Clyde wakes up, I'm gonna play baseball with his kneecaps. Until he remembers where he stashed my friggin' money. Hey, Jimmy. Nice. I suppose I'll be getting out of everyone's hair now. Whoa, 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 Clyde, buddy, Clyde. Just, 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 uh, just put the gun down. Uh, I think we've done all we can here. There's nothing left for me. Clyde, think about this now. Jessica, she's never gonna take me back. I might as well jump. Clyde, honey, don't. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about the house, about everything. Just... Jessica. You're saying that... There's his chance. God, no. 
But I never meant to hurt you. Now, Clyde, you give me the gun. Give me the gun. Okay. Life's too short for you to spend it with someone who hates your guts. Take it from me. Find out what happened to your hundred thousand dollars after. That freaking kid buzzing up and down this road, delivering his paper on that bike. Well, that one looks like a like a brand new dirt bike. Come on, Jake. Where are we going? Jail. I'll see you later, Dad. Yeah. Good luck, Clyde. Thanks, Jake. Watch this. Hey! Nice bike you got there. What do you want with my son? Yeah, what's going on here? Did you get your newspaper the day your 100 Gs went missing? No, but I'm not following you. So there's a chance your wife wasn't the only one who saw you passed out in front of your car that day. Oh. You little shagger. You stole my money, didn't you? My guess is when you fell asleep, Clyde, the kid was grabbing his papers for the next day and found the briefcase full of cash. No. Here we are. Where's my money? You told me you won that money on scratch tickets at the store. Where's my money and how much do you have left? <laughs> Tinny stabbed you? Well, not physically, but she instructed someone to. Well, I'm glad you're okay. And if you want, I can prescribe some medication. Oh, that, that'd be great, actually. But can you make sure there's no steroids in it? Because I don't want to get any bigger. Not that kind of medication. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, actually, um, uh, um, about that. What's going on, Des? This is about Tinny, isn't it? Uh, no, Tinny, no. We're, we're friends. Really? <sighs> yeah, okay. Okay, uh, this is, um... This is about us. I think you're really pretty. I think you're really funny. I think you're really smart. I think you're fun. Just say I, it, Des. I don't think I'm ready to be in this relationship with you. Fine. Fine. You take care of yourself, Des. real trouble, pal. I, I, I don't know how I'm gonna get you out of this. Oh, for that Mo Clyde Cowley. Talk about your bad luck. Hey, how did it go, Jessica? Uh, she lost that dress pretty quickly. Uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, we made out. Felt her boob a bit. You know, that was my exact fantasy about her in high school. Jake, I don't know what to tell you. You're caught on tape robbing a bank, misleading police, evading police, possession of a firearm, and don't even get me started on chili power. When you stack the things all up against each other like that, it does look kind of... Yeah. Is there anything you want to tell me here? I would advise you not to. That's a nice outfit. Look, something tells me, having watched the tapes of the bank robbery, that you weren't there to steal anything. But you don't have any wiggle room to get me out. I'm sorry. I told you your crap was going to get you in trouble, and now it has. Looks like you're going to be bunking in Her Majesty's pen for some time. Oh, sweet home. 